name is Betsy Laxo and I'm director of R&D at Enjoy Alive Foods. Uh, today we are here to create some Halloween treats for surf sweets and I hope you guys enjoy them. So the first recipe we're going to make today is called cauldrons with other sweet and creepy um, items that go inside. So, all right, the anyways, I'm going to show you the first thing we need to do is find out what ingredients that we need. So for the cauldron, which is the base of the product, we need to have um, um, enjoy life chocolate chips, and um, a little bit of shortening for that. And for the cauldron, or for the, the, for the witch's brew that goes inside, we also need, again, enjoy life, um, chocolate chips, some sun butter, sunflower butter, and some brown rice syrup. And for the, what makes it the best is all the creepy things that go on top. So for that we have the Sher Surf Sweets um, gummy worms. And um, you'll see how fun that will make a, the product look. So the best thing to do is actually to start melting our chocolate chips for the uh, cauldron because this really takes a long time because we're going to do it in short increments. What we're going to do is um, start at 30 seconds to at first and we're going to do it in short little increments because we don't want to burn or scorch any of the chocolate and we're going to stir it um, during this time. Now see, the chocolate is just starting to melt here. Chocolate actually will, um, the heat of the chocolate will start melting what's ever here. So it's really important not to over uh, melt any of your chocolate. You don't want to scorch it because you'll never get it back. Okay, let's add the shortening. Mix it in. And every microwave is, is, is different. So you really have to check out your microwave to see what works best for you. Okay, now that our chocolate is nice and melted, and uh, let me give it one more stir, let me give it a stir and make sure that all that chocolate pieces are nice and mixed in here. Okay, there we go. All right, now the next step is to put the chocolate and make the cauldrons. So take about two teaspoons of chocolate and put them in the container. And um, you also can use party cups, which come in two different sizes, a uh, 36 and a 24. And those are also really nice too. So there's a lot of options that you can use. All right, I'm gonna fill three here. Now you can use the same spoon, but I'm just gonna make it look a little neater. So um, the object is take the back of the spoon and work the chocolate up the side by just pressing into it. Put your like, other hand on the cup just to stabilize it and then just work the chocolate up. We only wanna go halfway up the cup. We don't wanna go the full way. Um, pretty easy to do. Um, now, sometimes you'll see bare spots in the bottom where actually you scrape the bottom with the end of the spoon. You just want to go through and work that back because you don't want any holes in the cup. All right, now that our little um, cauldrons have chilled down for about 10 minutes, um, it's time to unwrap them. So I already started this one, and uh, what I've done is I um, taken the wrapper and I just bend it back a little bit to make it loose, and then I very gently take it apart off the top. Sometimes they're going to break a little bit, but that's okay because the cauldrons are supposed to be perfect anyway. So, and there you have it, a little cauldron. Okay, um, the next part of the recipe is actually what is the witch's brew, the, the mystery of the product that makes it really extra yummy. Okay, for this recipe we also need Enjoy Life chocolate chips. Enjoy Life chocolate chips, and uh, about a cup of them. And then we'll need brown rice syrup and sunflower butter. Sunflower butter and brown rice syrups are, are great alternatives to corn syrup and um, people that have peanut allergies or other nut allergies. Uh, they can be found in any natural um, type of food store. And uh, it's, really, it's really fun for those people that can't have any peanuts like me. I, I'm allergic to peanuts. So. so to start with, because chocolate always takes the longest to melt, we are going to start this and do it the same way we did for the, for the cauldrons. We're going to put it on for 30 seconds and then we're going to stir it at different intervals. Now, this is a really cool thing because when you mix these two together, it has, it, it's like magic. It forms a little ball. It separates from the bowl. It's like magic. And this is really great because it makes, it gives the filling, it's a nice creaminess and a nice firmness to it. And you have to have, you have, to have a good arm also to mix it. So, but it uh, tastes really great. I'm going to stir this up. As you see, it gets a little bit lighter, lighter and everything, and then it's just really nice creamy consistency here. So, all 
All right, so now we're going to fill the cups. I've started to fill a little few here earlier. And just take it. And um, either way, just, you, can, you can either measure it out with a, with a spoon or you can just, um, just fill it with just eyeballing it. And there's, just, there's enough filling for, for 12 little cauldrons. Now for the, now for the topping. We're going to use the surf sweets, the sour worms, as well as the gummy worms. Lay the worms on top like this. So they hang out the side so it's really cool. So they're just like floating in this brew that we've made up today. And I've also cut them in half so it looks like they're crawling in and out of the brew. So it's really up to you how you want to be creative. Alright, so now we're going to lastly decorate the, these last two here and I just want to mention too that um, you can best off is to store these into the refrigerator because it is chocolate and take them out before serving. Um, you don't have to you don't have to like freeze them or anything it, they just, just store them in the refrigerator. Okay today I brought in my little helpers who's also from the from the my witches group and uh, they, they volunteered to actually taste some of the new treats that we made today. So I'm going to hand you, made it. here you go, there you go, and just take a bite and tell me what you think. <laughs> just, mmm. Good. Mmm. All right.